Fairfax County, 911, where is your emergency? You know, when you initially hear that call come in and the recording comes on, it gives you a little bit of an adrenaline rush. When we receive a phone call from that citizen, it is probably the worst day of their life. If a human being's involved, anything can happen. That's the way I handle it. So I just accept it and say, hey, I'm not here to judge you, I'm here to help you. Because we save lives. Not only do we save lives of the citizens, we save our officers' lives. We save firefighters' lives. Every day when I wake up, I know that I'm gonna to come to a job that's going to allow me to help people. Well, you get a sense of fulfillment at the end of the day. Um, you know that you're doing meaningful work. You know that you're helping your community. You're keeping people safe. Um, you're strengthening your community. You're keeping people aware. So it's kind of a sense of pride, self-pride, that you're gonna receive. Um, and I think that that's something that a lot of other jobs can't really offer you. Whenever someone's in a crisis, whenever something is happening, a person's first instinct is to call 911. We are their lifeline. Um, at that point, we're collecting information for our first responders to figure out exactly what's going on in the situation, and we send them help. We're trying to calm that person down. We want them to let them know that, you know, we're there to get them through whatever's going on. Our whole job is communications. That's all it is. Um, and you're either communicating the policies of the agency, uh, law to citizens, um, you are um, making sure that the officers have the information they need in order to do their jobs. There's so many things that go into putting a call in. There's so many things that go into dispatching a call. There's so many things that go into communicating to your officers and your firefighters to keep them safe. And they don't really realize all those things that are necessary because you've packaged them in a way that's seamless. Just yesterday, I took a phone call from a little girl who needed me. They were having a family crisis. And I was able to stay on the phone with her, calm her down. She was in tears. She couldn't help her mother. There was nothing she could do but talk to me and reach out for help. And I got her that help. So yesterday, for my eight hours of taking phone calls, that one call made it all worthwhile. And that's what we're here for. You have to be empathetic of other people's situations because people calling 911 or calling the police or fire department are typically not having the best day. You have to be a unique individual with a very strong work ethic. You really do ha have to want to help people. We definitely look for integrity. We're looking for people with compassion. Um, you have to be selfless. So a lot of times this is a thankless job. You're gonna get on the phone, you're gonna help people in crisis, but they're never gonna thank you for it. You really have to be great at multitasking, being able to handle a lot of things at once. You have to handle the caller as well as type information in, make sure that the units understand what's going on, being able to respond to questions from the dispatcher. So you're gonna start in an academy uh, with your own specific cohort of people. And then after the academy, you're gonna move on to on-the-job training. That's when we sit you with a trainer who's gonna teach you how to do the practical aspects of the job. You learn how to listen to people, definitely in this job, how to hear what they're saying and read in between the lines. It does take a special type of person to do this type of work and it's not for everyone, but we do welcome you to come in, sit along, see what like a typical shift is like so that you can actually get a feel for the work that you'll be doing. When I leave at the end of the day, um, I know that I can go home, know that I've helped people, and that I can focus on my family. As far as the job goes, um, you get a lot of time off. I only work two weeks out of the month. Um, I get great benefits as far as a pension goes. I only have to be here 25 years and I'll have a, you know, a full retirement. And for me, I'll be fairly young when I retire. I knew that coming into this industry, 911 is something that's gonna be around for quite a long time. Um, and this is something where it's a career. There's room for advancement. I feel good every day knowing that I've helped someone today. So um, I'm very fortunate to have a job like this where I get to do exactly what I want to do, which is help people. I don't just come to work for a job anymore. I come to work for a purpose. It means everything to give back to the community I have lived in all of my life. And I think I make a difference. And that means everything. Okay. I think we're all out. Everybody, I think, is accountable. That was a okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.